In addition to having students self-enroll in your course, you can have them enroll by class period or section. To do this, you should already have enabled the self-enrollment method, and now you'll need to set an enrollment key for each of your groups. To do this, go to your administration box, click the arrow next to Users, and then click Groups. If you have already created groups, they will be listed here. To create a new group, click the Create Group button below the group list. Begin by giving your group a name. If you are the only teacher in the course, you could use a group name such as Section 1 or 9th period. However, if you have multiple teachers in the course, it's a good idea to include the teacher name in the group name. For example, this would be my period 1 class. You'll also need to set an enrollment key. This is a key that will be unique to this class or section. Click Unmask to see what you are typing. Much like the course enrollment key, this key will be entered once by your students and is case sensitive. Make it easy for your students to type and remember. If you're using the teacher name and the group hour, it's a good idea to also set that for the enrollment key. This will make it easy for you to remember when you get a new student later on in your course. When you're finished, click Save Changes. If you want to set the enrollment key for an existing group instead, click on the hour or the group name and then click Edit Group Settings. Just like when creating a new group, you will have the option to create an enrollment key. Set your enrollment key and click Save Changes. Now when your students access your course for the first time, they should enter the group enrollment key and not the course enrollment key. Note that if a student changes a class period or a section later on in the year, you can always move them from one group to another.